Hey, weight loss surgery peeps. I've decided it's quite important for me to be real and be honest in this post-op period. Um, I want to share everything. It certainly helped me when others did. And I seem to be one of the ones that's having a little bit of a difficult time. Now, I have to say my son, who is just can be brilliant at times, not when it comes to chores, but at other times, he is warm and loving and understanding. And he mentioned yesterday when I sort of was feeling poor, pitiful me about the fact that I wasn't one of the ones that popped up right after and went shopping and had no problem getting liquids down, etc. I have fibromyalgia, among other things. And he pointed out that that would probably lead me to react more strongly to something like this surgery than someone who didn't have fibromyalgia, and that, that totally resonated with me. That's probably why I'm not feeling the best today. You know, I, I'm i still I'm still in some pain. I have adequate pain medication. I mean, that's never a problem because I take it for the rest, you know, I take it for other things in my life. And fortunately, the type I take is really tiny, so I can swallow it with no issues. But Swallowing some of my other medications has been very painful, and getting down fluids has been really ghastly for me. I Last night, a sip of warm water, because it had a certain taste to it, made me vomit. I mean, who, who expected that? Um, this is what I use. Now, the good news is, our tummies are so small after the surgery that this, the very bottom of it, holds everything that's in there. So that's kind of a nice, neat nick type of thing to know. Um, didn't feel good to do that though and to have it be a sip of warm water a small sip of warm water I've now had to switch to smart water for everything today which is expensive you know we use a Brita filter and I had hoped that would work but the taste of it is just not working I tried it again and it made me gag so for the time being my favorite bottled water is smart water and that's what we're using for tea or maybe not for tea. I might be able to manage not to have that for tea, but for drinking plain water, that's what it has to be. I got nowhere near 64 ounces of fluids yesterday, and I think that's going to be a real issue, although I just got back from a walk with my son, and I find that um, I was able to get four fluid ounces of water down, you know, slowly, very slowly. And I've, I'm setting my timer on my iPhone, um, we might go off while we're making this video. Um, and I am uh, religiously trying to get something down, be it tea or water. Now, the other issue is people tell you your taste buds change. They didn't lie. Uh, one of the, I was waiting for my new favorite protein drink to arrive. I had had some shipped to me, but um, I used some that I found that I'd been able to tolerate before the surgery and it was I just couldn't do it it was sickeningly sweet way over sucrose sucralose I mean with Splenda I just couldn't do it I had to give it to my husband and the way I see it if I keep not being able to tolerate the protein drinks I get my husband is going to be really buff <laughs> but meanwhile this is a problem for me I got a two pound a tin of my this protein powder I had fallen in love with right before the surgery. It tasted so good. I actually was craving it after I had it and I had only gotten one sample. So I have high hopes that when I make one in a little bit, I'll be able to tolerate it. Uh, because two pounds, it turns out, is this ginormous container. Who knew? Um, so, I mean, this is reality for me right now. I, things are swollen. Things are not dealing well with what I try to put down there. My my tummy's ruling me and it's very temperamental at this time. However, you know, I've heard that that's normal. I mean, it's very hard for the first few days. Now, um, the other issue that's come up for me is for some reason my doctor has decided rather than having me on three days clears and then two to three weeks, depending on how I'm doing it, two weeks, full liquids, in other words, cottage cheese, yogurt, cream soups that are filtered, nothing else much, you know, but he's decided today, or when I left the hospital, and he confirmed today that he wants me on three weeks of clear liquids plus protein drinks, and I actually had a meltdown today over that. You, you're lucky you weren't there to see it. I, I really lost it when I got his email confirming that, because that was on his discharge papers, and it totally contradicted what the nutritionists have told me. 
So I cried over that. And my darling, my husband, who is oh, taking such good care of me. Oh, my gosh. He was out shopping for all kinds of stuff for me today. Most of which I now can't have because of my doctor's ruling. Um, he was napping and well deserved. And my son came in and rubbed my feet and you know held my uh, put his arm around me and held me while I cried and pointed out it's a short time you know that it'll pass and even three weeks can pass. You know God knows I told him that enough when he was growing up and it seemed like the things he wanted to do were way off in the future. So here's the child parenting the parent. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to come back again soon. I have a really cute thing I want to grow into, grow down to, but I'm I'm um, not in the best place to really smile and show it to you tonight. So I love you all. Thank you for all the amazing comments I've gotten, both privately and, and there. And um, just thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'll be back. Bye-bye.